Hi everyone. Uh, so today, happy Monday, we are doing an arm workout. Now this is gonna be a hard one, but I haven't worked out for five days and I sort of wanna shock my system. So this is gonna be an arm workout. We're also gonna do a little bit of cardio, keep our heart rate up the entire time. The workout is 20 minutes long from start to finish. Our warm up, although I know you guys love watching me dance around, is actually inside of this. So we're gonna do a little warm up in the beginning of it that's actually gonna help us do like a recovery for our second set. There are 14 exercises, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and uh, a one minute recovery. We are doing two sets. These are the exercises. Okay, so the first one, we're running in place. It's pretty easy. The second one, jumping starfishes. Excuse me guys. So however hard or easy you wanna make this, oh no. There we go. However hard or easy you wanna make this. So um, what it basically looks like is you just jump starfishing. So like this. So if you wanna make it harder, touch the ground. If you wanna make it easier, you could do this. We're just trying to get our heart rate up. Okay, uh, then we're doing inchworms, which look like this. Hey guys, inchworms look like this. We walk out, down, back up, up. We're just getting our bodies warmed up, okay? Down, you can skip the going down to your shoulders there if you want. You don't have to come all the way up. You can just come to your toes if you want. Back out. Back up and then so forth. Um, the next one are squat thrusters with a ball. I have all this stuff here because I've actually come up with household items that can help you do this workout. So a squat thrust, I'm gonna start with a 16 pound ball. It's gonna get heavy. So I'm gonna go down to a 10 pound ball. You can do this with laundry detergent. Throw it or don't throw it. We're basically coming down, going up. Coming down, going up, okay? You don't have to let it go here. You can come down and up. We're just warming our bodies up, right? So that's that one. Then we're gonna do bear crawl forward and backwards. We've done these before, guys. So. You're coming up and going forward. <laughs> like that. Um, make sure you keep your back flat for those. The next one are a deadlift curl shoulder press. Now, I'm gonna do this with my kettlebell, but I'm gonna show you guys with the thing of laundry detergent, okay? So you're gonna go down. This arm's gonna go here. We're gonna go down into a sumo squat. We're gonna curl up and go overhead. Come down, so watch this again. Down, the arm curls up, you push it overhead. The arm comes down, and then it goes down. It curls up with your palm facing toward you, your palm twists and goes up. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds, then we're gonna switch. Down, palm curls up, palm faces out. Palm comes back toward you and down. Make sure you keep those elbows into your body when we're doing these, okay? That's that. I'm gonna do it with a kettlebell, but that's the detergent version. Then we're gonna do an upright row. This is another one. This is just a broom handle, you guys, with everything that I could find that's heavy with a handle on it here at the house. So an upright row. See, it's all just piled on and your hands are helping it so it doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna do this, feet a comfortable distance apart, a little bit wider than shoulders, back flat and curl, back flat and curl. So if you don't have a set of a bar at home, you just make your own, right? You could do curls with this thing, you could do overhead presses with this thing, like you really could do a lot with this. We're not gonna do that, but anyway, so that's that. Then we're going into plank shoulder circles. We've done this before as well. 
we go down into our plank position, which you can't see right now because there's so much going on. We're in a plank position and we're gonna do this. Right, left, forward, back. Right, left, forward, back. <laughs> Hi, mama. Um, the next one after that is a reverse plank slide. Now, if you work out without your shoes on, you can do this without the towels. But since I've got shoes on, I'm gonna use the towels. This is what a reverse plank is. Hands facing towards your bum. You're going to slide out into reverse plank. If this is enough for you, you can hold this. If you want a little bit more, we're gonna go like this. Slide down, that bum kisses the ground, lift up. Up. We're getting a little bit of abs in. Really breathe out. There. Okay, so that's a reverse plank slide. Then we're doing a push up to a push back to push up. So this looks like this, you guys. This is gonna be a crazy workout. It's gonna be really fun though, I promise. Knees on the ground, feet facing down, hands here. We're gonna go back to a child's pose, and then we're gonna go forward. We're gonna do a tricep push-up. Back stretch, forward, tricep push-up. That's that one. Then we're going to do straight arm overhead lat. Again, you can use your detergent. We're just gonna lay on the ground. And this is just gonna go over our heads. You really wanna feel the stretch in your ribs here and pull back. Pull, don't let your back arch. You want it down. Right, that's working our lats. Then we're gonna go into arm circles. I'm gonna use little weights for this, but find anything in your house that's the same weight. And we're just gonna do arm circles. We are gonna do arm circles. The first round we're gonna go forward, second round we're gonna go backwards. Then we're gonna go into W's. These are W's. Again, just find two things in your house that weigh the same and do this. I'm actually going to use dumbbells, but we're going up and down like that. Then we're gonna do kneeling tricep pumps. What those look like, you guys, is you're literally just kneeling. We're gonna kneel down, we're gonna put our thumbs touching each other, and we're just gonna pump those triceps, okay? Squeeze them together so they're squeezing, and we're just gonna pump them. It doesn't feel like a lot, but at the end of all of that, if you're squeezing your elbows together as well, you're gonna feel it all through here, okay? And that's our last one. And then we're gonna do it one more time, all the way through, and that's it. And the whole thing's gonna take us 20 minutes. I'm gonna call out exercises before we go, and as usual, it should be fun. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you a second to get your equipment. I'm gonna get this other stuff out of here, and then we're gonna start. Arm day, yay! 30 seconds, and then we're gonna start. Here we go. 30 seconds. I'm getting myself ready, sorry. Ah. Okay, 30 seconds. Our first exercise is running in place. We got 15 seconds and then we're gonna start. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Here we go. We're just running in place. This is our warm up, so, you know, make sure you're taking it slow. Knees to butt a little bit. Knees, however you want that to look. Halfway through. Then we're going into starfish. Jumping starfish. Good job, guys. Two, one. Woo! 10 seconds. Jumping starfish. Remember what that looks like. It's down, feet and arms go up. <clears throat> hey, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. These ones are gonna tax you.
So just know, I'm trying to already. Halfway. guys. Next one is our inchworms. Here we go. We're walking out, going down, coming back up. You can have to jump if you want. Halfway. Now we are going into squat thrusters. This is where you grab something heavy. This is gonna hurt. Ready? guys. Now we are going into that bear crawl. Forward and backwards. Holy mama. Here we go. Knees up. Back flat. Good job guys. You should be feeling this in your shoulders, in your quads, in your lungs like me. Whew. All right guys, next we are going deadlift into a curl shoulder press. Sumo squat, curl toward you, up, hand toward you, curl in, shoulder press up. Way. And you guessed it, we're going straight into the left arm right after this. Ten second rest into the left arm. Here we go. Good job. Good job, guys. This is almost like a slow snatch, but Robin told me not to call it a snatch because we didn't want CrossFit to be like this at the week. So we're calling it a sumo squat to curl to shoulder press. <laughs> Good job, guys. Finish that out. Now we're going into an upright row that's grabbing your Room, weight it down. Bent over row. Alright. We've got those plank shoulder circles after this. Come on guys. Six seconds left. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, good job. Right into those plank circles. Get down on your shoulders, get ready, get in the plank, right, left, forward, back, right, left, forward, back. Back, forward, back, halfway. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. 
Reverse plank to a slide. Here we go. Get your feet on your towels. Point those toes. Hands pointed toward you. Slide out. Slide up. Slide out. W's. So you can use the same weight, you can use no weight. Those shoulders are starting to get sore. Okay, two, one, good job. Now we're going into those W's. Grab your weights. Four, three, two, one. You're literally just making a W with your arms. And I think. I'm going too heavy. Mama, I may have to change halfway. I may need to go from 12 pounds to 10 pounds. Those shoulders are tired. Good job. All right, kneeling tricep pump. What does that look like? We're on our knees, our bums are in the air. Thumbs are together, a little bit in front of you, and we're just pulsing, guys. Just pulse. Squeeze those shoulders together, or those, those elbows. You really wanna squeeze them together. You're gonna feel this in your triceps and your shoulders. Really put all of your weight in the palm of your hands and your fingers. You wanna be leaned forward over your elbows. Halfway, good job. They should be screaming, minor screaming. This hurts really bad. You don't want the weight in your shoulders, you want it in the palms of your hands. You're almost like pushing the ground away from you. Push it away from you. Keep those elbows squeezed in. Ah! You guys, I think I just worked through my, I did. Oh my gosh! 30 seconds. No, I just worked out for my exercise. I did no exercise. We do, we're gonna start over. Okay, okay. We're just gonna go back to the beginning and start again. That's okay, don't worry about it. My timer screwed up, we'll fix it on the flip side. Okay, so we have a, a minute. You're meant to have a minute, but we're only gonna have 30 seconds. And we're gonna go back in from the top 
down. Right in place in 15 seconds. Really shake those arms out. They should hurt in here, which is where mine hurt. And we're gonna go. Okay, ready in three, two, one. Running in place. Good job, guys. I screwed up my timer. This is what happens when I work out by myself and Robin's not here. Knees up. Halfway through. We're going into jumping starfish right after this. Starfish. Woo! My arms are hurting, my lungs are hurting, I'm sweaty. Here we go. Touch. We're basically doing like an off the ground jumping jack. Halfway.
Good job, guys. Right after this, we are going into our plank shoulder circles. One, good job. Okay. Down into our plank shoulder circles. And then our reverse plank slides. Plank shoulder circles, here we go. In our planks, left, right, forward, back. Left, right, forward, back. I don't know about you guys, but I have been enjoying my wine and my dim sum and my potatoes and my beautiful ice cream cake from my fiance. Woo! All right, here we go. Now we're going into those slides. Here we go. Hands facing us, feet on our towels. Here we go. Slide, and oops, I underestimated my tush size. Okay, 
here. My clock says 30 seconds left. We are done. Holy Hannah. Woo! That was tough. Where do you guys feel that? Oh my gosh. Where do I feel it? I definitely feel it here. I feel it here. I feel it here. Woo! That was great. Nice workout. Okay, let's bring our heart rate down. Sit on those heels and sit on your tush. Good workout today, you guys. Ooh. Let's get our breath under control. Come back into our bodies. Let that heart rate fall. Happy Monday. Thank you all so much for joining me. You motivate me to do this as well. <laughs> so thank you. Whew. Thank you all for the well wishes for my birthday and my engagement. Let's take our hands to our sides. Breathe up and release those hands and squeeze them to the ceiling. Breathe. Maybe grab that wrist and pull it a little bit. Oh, good job. Squeeze back to the top. Grab your other wrist. Give it a nice little gentle pull to the other side. Hands down by your sides. Interlace your palms behind your back this and take them to the ceiling. Breathe in, roll up. Come to your hands and knees. Take your left arm onto your right arm and lean down on that shoulder. Come back up. Take your right arm, lace it under your left, and lean on that shoulder. Give your upper body a little twist. Roll yourself back up. Put your hands facing toward you. Roll around on those wrists a little bit. You guys are going to want to stretch out your lower body because we did work our legs a bit. We worked our booties and our thighs and our calves too with those jumps and things. Shake those wrists out, roll them. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a beautiful rest of your Monday. Bye.